Hi, I'm Tony Grafton. I'm a history professor at Princeton University, and I'm here at AHA 2018 in Washington, D.C. We're going to be going around and talking to people who are participating in the meeting, seeing why they're here, what they hope to achieve, what they've experienced at previous meetings, uh, trying to get a sense of the spirit of the occasion, as you can only get it on the ground. I've been here every year since 2012. Lots of exciting panels, I, too many to count, especially round tables. I am mostly here for, for job interviews, uh, seeing a few uh, panels that really excite me and just uh, finding what other uh, great opportunities come up. And I walk into the hotel and I run into a bunch of friends right away, even before I get to the registration desk. Yeah, well, that's, I think that's the best thing about AHA. Thank you so much. I love AHA. I don't, you know, I try to explain. This is my seventh AHA, the first one I'm presenting at. Wonderful. I'm actually presenting twice, so I just finished, and I have another presentation on Sunday. But no, I really like the AHA. I think because so often we're kind of in our respective subfields all the time, and you kind of only deal with the people in your subfield. Mm -hmm. AHA is the moment where you get to peer into the ways in which other historians are engaging other types of questions, what challenges are they facing. Like or different from the Historikertag in Germany? Um, the conference is much bigger, and uh, well, how can I say it? The, the, the atmosphere is much nicer and much friendlier. <laughs> I'm very glad to hear that. My first one was in 1978. I don't actually have to give a paper to be here, right. uh, and so I'm just going to enjoy coming, listening to my colleagues, and also go to the book exhibit, which is incredibly important as well. Uh, it's not only great to see what, what new books are out, but to schmooze. That is the place to schmooze, absolutely. It's always gratifying um, to attend sessions. Um, the Committee on LGBTQ History, for me personally, has been kind of a lifeline all the way through That's my career. So well listen, I, I come, I plan to be a life member of the AHA, I plan to keep coming back, and I'm a very big public historian, so if there's ever any way I can help with the efforts to make public history more present, I'm big on it.